Hey everyone, so it's the 12th of October today, and here I sit in the emergency room. I had my last ever meet today. I was supposed to have one this upcoming Saturday, but not gonna happen, because I split my knee wide open, and it hurts so bad, it hurts. So, um, I'll probably just tell you the story after, because I can't tell you right now, because it hurts, but. Your mom brought you to the yard. Mm -hmm. right okay, actually, I'll just tell you. So, I was running, and you need to be top 21 to place. That's what I needed, or wanted to do. And the first... Alright, so, she just got done cleaning it. I'm gonna lift it up and show. Oh, it's so nasty. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. Alright, um... Oh... I'm just a little pissed and I'm scared. It doesn't even hurt that bad, just stings. All right, uh, I'll see you after it's stitched maybe, or maybe before, I don't even know, all right. And excuse my language, if I swear in this vlog, I can't help it. <clears throat> all right, so we're all stitched up. Um, the numbing hurt way more than anything. I scream like a baby, but um, yeah, we're good now show you 12 stitches later alrighty well I'm leaving I'm still pretty numbed up but starting to sting already but I don't, well, I don't think it's the actual like cut that's starting to sting there's some other cuts around it so I think that's what it is but um <clears throat> yep I'm leaving I my coach is actually here too because he was sick so I went and just visited him but uh, yeah it was a good Saturday meet all right so now that I'm back I can actually tell the story of what happened and how I split my knee open um so going into the race my mentality was like I'm ready to place I can place I'm able to because top 21 um, places in the league and then you get to get recognized and stuff so that was my plan and like I hadn't been hurt all season and I was just I was ready to run so um, you run through the creek two times during this meet that we ran and um, the first time you run through it was before the first mile so um, as we're approaching the creek I'm placed 16th and um there's two girls in front of me so they they get up to the creek and they kind of baby step so I'm like okay this is like chance I could pass them I'm not scared to run through the water like yeah it's gonna be cold but whatever well I go I try to run and I just slip like fall and go face first and like completely submerge myself into the creek it's a couple of feet so then like my I just got back up. I just got back up and started running like whatever and that's when I got passed by a bunch of people they just basically ran over me and like I it was so quick it happened so fast I didn't really notice anything and so I kept running kept running past the one mile and then um I came around to the two mile and I hear a couple people like oh my oh my god like they're looking at me all weird well then I hear a couple people like shh like I don't think she knows or and I had no idea what they're talking about I thought they were talking about like how I was soaking wet or I had no idea. So then um, I'm about to curve in and finish about like 600 meters left. And there's a kid from another school and he looks and he goes, are you okay? Again, had no idea what he was talking about. I was like, yeah, I'm good. Like I just thought I must have looked really tired. So then I looked down and my whole leg underneath my knee was covered in blood. Like I could not see underneath the blood. That's how bad it was. And it was just gushing. But I wasn't even really scared because I just thought, it was a scrape. Well, then I finished and I, you know, looked down there like, keep moving, keep moving. But I was like, I, when I looked and I saw my, I saw the inside of my leg, I was like, oh my God. So I like had to drop out of line and the trainer was taking or taking care of me. And I was like, somebody needs to give me a hand right now. Like, so I could hold on to it. I was, I was a lot more scared than anything. And then when she told me I had to leave right away, I was upset that I couldn't watch um, my the boys team run so yeah and we have we're supposed to have districts this upcoming Saturday but I mean I'm not gonna be able to run 
so my season's over. I'm I'm a little upset, but I think it's a good way to finish. So, yep, that was my last ever cross country meet. So, thanks for watching. Um, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, sorry I haven't been posting a lot. I've just been really busy with cross country and school and stuff. So, um, <sighs> okay, sorry. I'll try to be posting more. All right. Bye.